So yeah, this is uh, how to get started with game state integration within Dota 2. Um, we're going to use the Node.js Dota 2 GSI module for it. Uh, and I will go through the steps on how to install it. After that, uh, it's up to you how you want to use the data, obviously. So to get started, I'm using Visual Studio Code, but of course you can use any IDE for coding your uh, application. Uh, so let's get started by opening a terminal. We're gonna initiate npm. Uh, I'm just gonna hit enter. Feel free, of course, to fill everything in. And now we're gonna do npm install Dota to GSI. And now we have the package installed. So let's oh, make a new file. I'm gonna do index.js. It's gonna be just the starting file that I'm gonna use. And now we're gonna write the script. Uh, we're just gonna copy paste most of it uh, to get started. So we're gonna do for d2 gsi require so that we know that we're gonna use it. We're gonna start a server. If you wanna add options, it's all in the description. And here we have different examples of what we can do. Uh, but first off, we need to do one thing that's very important. We need to tell Dota 2 that it needs to send the actual data to our script. To tell the game where it needs to send the data, uh, we need to add a file to the actual game files. So we're gonna go to game, we're gonna go to Dota, CFG, and then um, we're gonna add a new folder game state integration uh, then we're gonna open notepad and for us now we're go just gonna use everything here and we're just gonna save it in the same folder as a game state in lowercase a uh, lower game state integration dota to gsi.cfg set it to all files i'm going to save it and now we have the file here um, now back to our script let's see what happens when we do everything in this example script i'm going to save this i'm going to run it So now we see it started, it's listening on port 3000, and when we play Dota. And let's start by making it a window. And let's turn off the music. So Dota 2 is I listening on port 3000. So if we're now gonna watch a game, we need to download first so the game is now started and we can see that it's connected so now that we've established that we can make a connection, uh, let's uh, output in the console log the map clock time. So I'm gonna remove these two because we only need client on map clock time. So we're gonna change this to map is clock time function 
clock time if clock time we're gonna console log clock time let's start the script and we're gonna watch the replay gonna jump to the game and now we can see that we have the clock time outputting in the console log so this was only the clock time but if you go to the page you can see what what's av all available so you can do a provider you can do a map you can do player heroes uh, all this data is available especially if you're in observer mode if you are in a regular game it will not give you all the data obviously so that you cannot cheat uh, and if you need all data that has been sent you can use new data let's do that as a last example And let's start the script and we are, can already see that we have some data and if we do watch replay it will output all the uh, different data as a JSON so if you go to jump to the actual game you can see that we have all the different data that you can eventually use within your application wherever you're going to use the game state integration for. And that's a basic tutorial on how to get started with Dota 2 game state integration.